will be able to travel the island with this unit to find the athlete and to create a more convenient uh, facility in which we can test them or for certainly get the samples for testing. It costs us a total of $16 million to purchase and to retrofit. So we are able to, to provide facility that will give our Paralympians the same access. It's for the able and those with disabilities. The Ministry of Sports, through the Sports Division, we wrote to all the federations and associations of various disciplines. We provided them with guidelines for to develop their protocols and to respond to us with a fine-tuned proposal for the protocol that would um, that would guide them in their training. We have received responses from some of the organizations, not all of them. And from those that we have received responses, we have forwarded their, their proposals to the Ministry of Health. And we await response from the Ministry of Health. We have had some sign on swimming, for example, um, and um, we hopefully soon will get the sign on from the Ministry of Health for netball. And of course, for track and field, the track and field was the first to come forward and their athletes have been training, observing all the protocols. I was able to train mostly on the track um, without any interruptions. However, gym, I had to be gymming outside of the gym instead of inside and stuff like that. But I mean, as athletes, we need to be able to adapt. And that's what you have to do in this time. Like, we have no choice but to adapt now. And we're just adapting and adapting to whatever is happening. Nobody is sitting safe right now in this whole position. Sports brands, um, sponsors, everybody are in critical situations right now. So everybody has to come good in whatever way they can, you know, to be as good as they need to be to perform next year. Of course, I'm not one of the fastest in the bunch when it comes to a flat 100 meter, so I'd love to get my time down even more, uh, as well as be more technically sound over the hurdle. I mean, I'm pretty good technically in the hurdles, but I mean, I think it was uh, Rafael Nadal said that he keeps on improving his tennis technique. There's nothing or there's no way he can say, I'm the greatest and I'm going to stop getting better or improving, or improving no matter what he's going to find some little tweak to get better and that is the mentality that I'm putting towards that. It's getting better all around basically. And what can we expect from you though, madam? Um, you can just expect me to adapt and to be at my best, whatever that is next year.